I've been working on these issues for such a long time and the lawsuit itself was really difficult on us. Julian Nitch is a sexual assault survivor. She was the first of 15 plaintiffs to sign on to the lawsuit in 2018. I had to force the police to come back and fingerprint because it was a break in and they didn't even fingerprint the, the door that he pried open. Um, and we were just told, why were you walking home? Why do you live in this neighborhood? What were you wearing? Uh, and why didn't I have a bar thing on my sliding door? Um, and then they wouldn't return your calls. The women sued, accusing police and prosecutors of mishandling their cases. Today, the artist and survivors worked together on a mosaic that will tell the story of what the survivors have overcome and the change they spurred in their community. Some of those changes include more sexual assault convictions, increased staffing and funding for victim services, and enhanced training so survivors are treated with dignity and respect. While today was intended to be a celebration of survivors, city and county leaders also expressed concern about the announcement former police chief Art Acevedo is returning to Austin as the interim city manager over APD. His return is a step backwards for survivors of sexual assault. His appointment represents a stunning disregard for their pain and for the values of this community. I fear that this appointment could erode efforts to rebuild trust and to keep our community safe. Unfortunately, when you reappoint someone that oversaw the, the failures of the crime lab, that oversaw the way women were treated, um, and look into the lawsuit, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of allegations against Art Acevedo, and the city reappointing him to oversee the police is um, it's a betrayal of, of trust, honestly. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.